Hi, welcome to my video. Here I'm going to show my attempt at winding the motor and it took me several tries. Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and I'm going to share with you everything that I've learned along the way. First of all, you're going to need enameled copper wire, which just means it has a coating of insulation and its thickness is 26 or 28 gauge originally on the motor. Anytime you see T, it means turns. So three turns, four turns, five turns. And anytime you see H, it's the height of the magnet in millimeters. So 35H usually is for 48 volt motors. 50H usually is for 72 volt motors. 50H is going to be more powerful, obviously. The weight motors and you see what i'm doing here i'm extending it throughout its whole length first and then i'm winding it up anything else you're going to get the wires all knotted and tangled and it's not going to be able to be used or you're just going to have a very difficult time so next Next, I epoxied little pieces of zip ties that I cut up and this is to provide extra protection from a stator short. Stator shorts happen when wires short to each other because the coating gets damaged or the, it gets shorted on the sharp edges of the stator. going to need slot insulation for the space in between each pole and you can use Nomex paper, anime paper, I use fish paper but, but fish paper wasn't that great. So my motor is a 48 volt, 1500 watt voila mark. It has 51 poles, these motors, and three phases. Each phase occupies 17 poles. Seems to be a pattern of it divided by five of four turns, four turns, three turns, three turns, three turns, three turns in varying order. And in between the four turns is where it's going to have the only two consecutive direction of winding. So it goes counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, and then clockwise again. And this is in between only the two four turns. Everything else, it's alternating left, right, left, right, left, right, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. So when you wire it, you're going to do four turns one two three four and then you skip the next two phases which is going to be three three and then you're going to start again afterwards after you do the second four turns then it's going to be skip three and then skip four because the next phase is going to now uh, do its four turns I'm also going to make another video of how I did the hall sensors. Did the hall sensors. Oh yeah, and in the end, there's a delta or WYE configuration. So it's two different ways to finish up the motor. First one is when you get all three ends of each phase and you short them together, or you so you solder the three ends of the phases together so they're neutral down and they have continuity with each other. And the other one is when the end of one phase and the lead of one phase is um, tied and soldered and this is not gonna have continuity between each phase so oh yeah and less turns is more speed and more turns is higher torque 